Hello everyone, Dr. Joel Schwartz here. I'm a chiropractic physician and I practice in Monroe Township, New Jersey. Today I'm going to talk to you about the diagnosis and treatment of stress. Now stress is one of the most important causes of illness that we face in the United States today. Unfortunately, however, the diagnosis of stress is very nonspecific and the treatment is very ineffective for the most part. So what we have here is five videos about stress. Uh, if you watch all five of them, you'll get a very good overview about how we specifically diagnose and specifically treat your stress problem. It would be a good idea also to watch all five of them in an order. This is the first one coming up right now. So please enjoy video number one. Most people know that stress is impacting their life and their health to some degree. But do they really know how much and in what specific ways it impacts their health? For example, you might know that too much stress will cause you to lose sleep. You might know that stress can even cause heart problems. Actually, stress is a factor in most of the health problems we experience today. Unfortunately, most of the treatment of stress in the United States is very inadequate. For example, the advice we get from our doctors is very general. Consequently, it is not that helpful. Often the cause of stress is not even sought. They immediately turn to giving you a medication. Here are some of the general recommendations dispensed by healthcare providers. Learn better ways to manage your time. Get plenty of rest. Eat well, don't smoke, and limit how much alcohol you drink. Although these suggestions are good, they are very nonspecific. For example, eat well means different things to different people and provides no information about how to proceed. What is needed here are specific instructions about foods, nutritional supplements, specific exercises and re relaxation techniques, and other recommendations. In this video series, we are going to take a very different approach. I'm going to show you the many ways that stress affects your health. We're going to be specific, not general. You'll be surprised at the severe impact it is having on your health. Stress is affecting your brain, immune system, gut, heart, bones, muscles, and joints. It is also affecting your sleep and sex drive, and it's making you fat. It also causes your skin to age. I'll also talk about specifically diagnosing stress so that we can apply a very targeted approach to your situation. Regarding treatment, I'll talk about things besides learning to relax or eating well. We'll be talking about how diet, exercise, and nutritional supplements that are specific to your individual needs can greatly help you with stress. With this multifaceted approach, we will be able to show you how to make a highly positive change in your life and health. As I said in the introduction, this is the first in this series of five videos on stress. We are going to discuss the physiology of the stress response in the next video in the series. We'll talk about the hormones that are involved. For right now, just know that cortisol is the main hormone that is released in the long-term response to stress. When cortisol levels are increased for a prolonged amount of time, there are many negative effects on the body. Here's a list of the many effects of elevated cortisol on your health. I'll give you a few seconds to look at the list. Here are some additional consequences of elevated cortisol. I'll give you a few seconds to read these as well. Now let's talk more specifically. The stress connection to weight gain is well established in scientific research. When your cortisol level is elevated for a prolonged period of time due to prolonged stress, your appetite increases, you break down muscle tissue, and you don't burn fat for energy. All these result in weight gain. High prolonged cortisol levels provide a triple whammy towards heart disease. It elevates your blood pressure and your cholesterol and triglyceride levels. Elevated cortisol for prolonged periods of time causes mood disorders such as anxiety and depression. Why does this happen? 
Basically, the elevated cortisol affects brain chemicals called neurotransmitters. You may have heard of the neurotransmitters dopamine and serotonin. Many popular drugs such as Lexapro, Prozac, Paxil, Zoloft, Wellbutrin, Ritalin, and Concerta are used to affect dopamine and serotonin levels when often the root cause of the problem is elevated cortisol due to stress. Obviously, if you want high-level health that lasts, you need to treat the cause of the problem. High cortisol levels can cause problems with memory. On this slide, you see examples of mild impairments. If they are very frequent, however, you can assume that your brain is not functioning as well as it should. High cortisol for a prolonged period of time causes brain cells to shrink in size. This can cause increased forgetfulness and accelerate the development of memory loss and Alzheimer's disease. These are actual physical changes to brain cells. By the way, I'm trying to keep this presentation simple and straightforward for you. Therefore, I'm leaving out quite a lot of the physiological details. At the same time, I understand that you may be curious about what I'm saying. For example, most people haven't heard that stress is a contributing factor to Alzheimer's disease. If you're interested in knowing the details, you can contact me at the email or phone listed here. I'll also display this contact information at the end of the presentation. I also want you to know that everything I am talking about is backed up by solid scientific research. Please keep in mind our general theme that prolonged stress causes high cortisol levels and this results in poor health. Now let's go on with the next concept. High cortisol levels can also cause blood sugar problems like diabetes. Here's what happens. Elevated cortisol levels cause elevated insulin levels. Insulin, by the way, is the hormone that brings sugar, also known as blood glucose, into your cells. When it is elevated for a prolonged period of time, your cells become resistant to insulin and this causes diabetes. Elevated insulin levels also cause elevated cortisol levels, so this is a vicious cycle. The above diagram shows the vicious cycle between insulin resistance and high cortisol. Of course, if your insulin or blood sugar is out of control, you're going to gain weight. So that's another reason that stress causes weight gain. High prolonged cortisol levels will decrease bone mass and will result in osteopenia or even osteoporosis. When cortisol levels are elevated for a prolonged period of time, sex hormones such as testosterone and estrogen will not be produced in as great a quantity as they normally would be. When cortisol levels are elevated for a prolonged period of time, your immune system will suffer. This can result in more frequent colds, flus, and other infections. In addition, autoimmune diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, Hashimoto's thyroiditis, and multiple sclerosis can be made worse or even triggered when cortisol levels are high for a prolonged period of time. Watch the ulcer forming on this slide. This is what high cortisol can do to the stomach lining. Now let's talk about what high cortisol does to the lining of your gut. This slide shows the normal gut lining. There are tight junctions between the cells and the cells themselves are healthy. This results in a healthy barrier between the inside of your gut and your blood that only allows properly digested food particles to enter your blood. High cortisol levels damage the lining cells and this will cause inflammation and will allow undigested food particles to enter your blood. This can lead to gut infections, food intolerances, irritable bowel syndrome, or leaky gut syndrome. Leaky gut syndrome, by the way, is the cause of many autoimmune diseases. We have a separate presentation on leaky gut that you can watch. High cortisol levels affect the thyroid by three physiological mechanisms. We won't go into the details here, but understand that the thyroid is the master gland of metabolism, and anything that affects the thyroid will slow your metabolism. We have a separate sep presentation on the thyroid if you're interested. The liver detoxifies all the harmful chemicals that enter your body. This is crucial to your health. 
This slide shows chemicals flowing through the bloodstream on their way to the liver. In the liver, they are processed and eliminated from your body in the intestines via feces, through the kidneys in urine, through your skin via sweat, and in your lungs via breathing. When cortisol levels are high, it taxes the liver's phase two detoxification pathways, and this will make it difficult for your body to process food additives, environmental chemicals, alcohol, personal care products, and medications. Imbalanced cortisol levels can make it difficult for you to fall asleep or stay asleep. This can be a major disruption of your daily sleep and wake cycles. Please see our presentation on stress and the rhythms of life for more information. Cortisol causes excessive skin aging because it breaks down the collagen in your skin. One additional point I want to make about high cortisol. Up until now, I've been telling you that high cortisol can damage your health in many ways. I've also said that high cortisol levels occur in response to prolonged stress. What also happens is that a vicious cycle may exist where high cortisol causes problems, but these problems themselves cause high cortisol. In review, we have just covered some of the major effects that prolonged stress and high cortisol can have on your health. I hope you have seen that many important bodily functions are negatively affected by prolonged stress. Please watch our other videos on stress. If you watch all of them, you'll get a complete picture of what stress means to your health. You'll also find out how we diagnose stress and what we do to treat stress. It's a good idea to watch the videos in the order listed above. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or would like to make an appointment, our contact information follows this slide.